Welcome to today's Energy Conscious. You can close your eyes for this meditation and Reiki healing, or you can open it. Today, I'm walking on my ancestors' land, taking a train and heading west to the ocean. A world of stone, a world of carved stone, and religion, which is here to hide the many pagan beliefs that we still hold. We are Celts, and today I want to take you to the jellyfish archetype for me is an angel of the sea. It floats, it unites, it protects, it drifts away and away with its community. And yes, maybe you've been stinked. But maybe you were not where you were supposed to be. As I distill down now the energy that I'm receiving and giving back to you, I'm walking past the many ideas that we have about the jellyfish danger, detritus, plastic bag. We give names, we give titles to things. Jelly. Jelly is not something that I would enjoy. But yet when we look at this animal, it's so graceful. floats and I could watch it float for a very long time. Let's go into the Celtic Reiki symbols that I've been tuned to. Let's bring back a balance into your torus field and connect you to the energy of eight. Eight, what is eight? Four plus four, three plus five, two plus six, one plus seven, eight. There's no eight day in a week. I'm connecting your shoulders, all the pressure that's been building up. Let's let the pressures drift away, float, transparent, very visible, very explicit about what they are. Those pressures, those responsibilities, are they yours? Let's remove them when they're not. And when they are, they become urgent flags to be consumed, to be worked through. Going down into the solar plexus now. Let's set up a light for the solar plexus to open once more. We've worked on this. And yet it needs more. How can we surrender? How can we release the grip we have on things? We've removed so much and yet there's still s things coming back. There's still so much here. Is it a collective belief that this should be handled? This should be a part of life? Is it a pattern? Is it a label we put on our identity so that we feel better? I'm here to take it away, just now. 
let's take it away. You deserve space. And you deserve to be who you are without identifying with collective things that do not resemble you. You are a human being. It's so powerful. Let's close our eyes and end this video, but continue the meditation. Breathe in and out. In and out. We're going to put our two hands on our belly, on our navel. All of us together right now. And we're going to say out loud. I release myself of the guilt and the shame that I've carried. I release myself and I surrender to the present. I create space inside of me for my being to resonate and not for my doing to be a priority. I'm going to leave you the space to continue to state out loud what you feel like translating. And I'm just removing energies from the shackles that we've put ourselves into. You can start now. We're going to connect to the waves dripping down from the top of our forehead, down our ears, our neck, our shoulders. And this wants to go down all of our muscles until the ground. Connect with the smell of the hyodine, the salty waters, and the cold of the waves brushing against your skin. And as a jellyfish, we're going to go upwards. So if I was to hold the crown, the, the tip of your skull, and to straighten you up, straighten your spine up, and go upwards, as the jellyfish go upwards and near the surface of the water, I'm just distilling your energy and rising you. Say out loud, I am rising, I am rising, I am rising. And as I rise you up, the worries drop down. The worries are engulfed into the salty water at your feet, going away with the tide, with the receding waves. And all that's left is you and your guides, and your loving energy. You can breathe in, and out, and open your eyes slowly, come back to this planet. You are safe and protected throughout the week. Remember this exercise. Straightening up your spine, rising up, and stating out loud what you release and what you keep, what you attract and what you discard. Have a wonderful week. See you next time.